All right, so we're out here detecting today. Uh, we're at the county fairgrounds. Looks like they have some kind of auction going on. People are bringing boats, campers, just other cars. And I'm assuming they drive them through that barn, auction them off, and away you go. A little bit of the fairgrounds is taken up by car parking right now. But the real reason we came here is because they're doing some work here on the infield. Uh, they've bulldozed it up. Unfortunately, I think we're a little bit late to the party. I guess it's been like this for almost two months now. Um, I was at our club meeting just last week and people had told me about it. This is about an hour and a half away from where I live, but people were finding all sorts of goodies out here, all sorts of coins, everything was found. Indian head pennies, buffalo nickels, mercury dimes, you name it. Our club president was even fortunate enough to find a Morgan silver dollar. So you can imagine why I still wanted to come out here and see what was left for the pickings. I'm pretty sure someone left me a gold coin today. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna give it a go. My buddy's coming down here, he'll probably be here shortly. And we're gonna see what we can pull out of this rubble that everybody else missed. So stay tuned, I'll show you what we find. All right, up on one of these mounds here, got a signal. Bouncing around a little bit. It's about six inches down, or in the side, whatever you want to say. Let's see what we got. I did hear that uh, they did bring in some truckloads of dirt. Where the dirt came from, I do not know. This might end up being pretty good here. Let's see. Well, now I'm not so sure. Oh man, it's just a little, little rivet. It's older. It's got that green patina on it, but it's not the coin or something super cool we were looking for. That's okay. There's still signals out here. Those guys didn't get everything. So we'll keep digging. All right, so I'm working my way right down this fence line. There used to be a, you know, the fence here, the barricade for when the horses and the cars drove around. I was right on the edge here, and I just popped my first coin of the day. Let's see what it is. Still got the dirt on the back side of it. It looks like it's probably going to be a wheat penny. I see a Lincoln. Yeah. Yep. All right. First non cladish coin of the day got a wheat penny I'm not sure on the year we'll get it cleaned up later the guys told me people have been walking all up and down these hills looking for stuff fortunately for me I picked a nice steep area because let's face it a lot of metal detectorists are older no offense guys I love you I'm glad for everything you've taught me, but not all of them can go where some of us young bucks can. And as you can see, we got a nice green coin that we just dug out of the sidewall right here. And we're hoping that it's going to be something awesome, which I'm sure it will be. It's going to take some cleaning up, no doubt about it. Could be a wheat penny, could be an Indian head. It's gonna need some definite cleaning. 
uh, to be able to really tell here. See if I can just get a little something off of it. Tell you what, that thing has been down in the mud for quite a while. Well, I'm not going to mess it up too much right now. I'm going to wait till I can get it to some water. My guess is that it's going to be an Indian head penny. So let the detector tell us. That's pretty neat. You can see the some of the green patina and corrosion still on this dirt clod. Alright, from the sound of that, I'm going to say that it's an Indian head penny. A lot of Indian head pennies on the White's M6 come up as a screw cap or zinc penny. And if you listen to that tone, that's exactly what it is. I have my detector set in tone mode. So it's going to give me seven different tones based on the material that you're swinging over. And you can hear some of the differences right there. So awesome. Another keeper. All right. We're going to keep at it. See what else we can dig off this steep hill. All right. We got a little worm friend down here. And it looks like he was guarding a nickel. Unfortunately, I'm just seeing a Jefferson. Not a buffalo, not a V. I was hoping. Considering I just dug a Indian head penny not too long ago. It's an older nickel. If it was a dime, it'd be silver. 1955 Jefferson nickel. We're getting there. There's still plenty of targets all throughout this hill. I can only imagine what's another four feet into this hill. I'd love it if they would just take all of this right here and just spread it flat across that field. Oh man. That would be the ultimate seeded hunt. This fairground is, uh, it's been around since 18... 50s, 1860s. So there's definitely some age here. And like I said, people have been finding everything shield nickels, V nickels, Morgan dollars, walking halves. So let's go see if we can find a few of those ourselves. What do you think about that, Mr. Jefferson? All right. So what we're doing is we got the big shovel out. Sorry if it's windy. So yeah, anyway, we got the big shovel out. And what we're doing is, I'm actually digging down into this mound. Because you can see, it's all pushed up, it's all pushed up. Everyone's been detecting each side, the tops, the sides going up and down up and down well they're getting this you know top layer these first 12 inches or so but where they're not getting is down here another three four foot so what I'm gonna do is open some of this up and spread it out so that there's a new top layer to go over and search so we'll let you know how that pans out all right well, we got our first find so far by digging it out. Got the old lucky horseshoe. Not bad find. Probably from one of the horses that used to race around the track here. This horse could have went on to win the Kentucky Derby. That's what I'm thinking. Definitely looks like a winner of the Kentucky Derby. All right, so I dug a horseshoe further down. I just uh, dug my second test hole here and I got a target that was right on the corner there. And you can see a coin in the clump. It's green. Could be a wheat penny, maybe an Indian head. Whew, these things are coming out brutal you can see where the coin still was it's pretty neat 
And actually, the reason I dug this hole here, this is the same spot where I had found an Indian head penny just a little earlier today. So I decided to keep digging down further and see uh, what had been dropped in this area. Because if this was a seeding area at one time, there could definitely be a lot more here. Nice green wheat penny. Not bad. 1920. So it's an earlier wheat. All right. I got like a zinc signal here. Uh, could be an Indian head. Could just be a zinc. Could be trash. Let's find out what it is. Oh yeah. That is definitely part of the fence. Garbage. I thought all of this right here had been filled in. I thought they had pushed all of that away and then they came through with all this gravel here and filled it all in and then they're just going to keep leveling it off that way. Uh, clearly maybe I'm mistaken or maybe wherever they brought this other gravel dirt in from uh, had some old stuff too because I just dug a wheat penny right there. It was only about two inches down. So maybe we're gonna have to give this area a whole sweep through and just see what else. All right. Well, I've seen uh, people find older coins where they've been cut. Usually, you know, a lot of the reals back in the day were cut. Well, I got a cut coin, but it's not a real. In fact, it looks like it's just a normal quarter. And it's not <laughs> not even a half of a quarter. It's a third of a quarter. Anybody want to give me like seven and a half cents? Let me know. That's different though. All right, just dug this uh, little like suspender clip. Nice little relic. There's still old stuff. I'm still uh, I'm at the base of the mounds right now. Uh, there's this little berm that was pushed up. So we're gonna see what we can find through here. All right, I moved into this little grass area here by some of the buildings. Uh, I've hunted through here before and we find a lot of coins and stuff. Uh, I just dug up an extremely small pocket knife. One of the sides came off but you can see there's the blade in there. It's got a little bit of a design on it. Not super old, but neat little relic nonetheless. Picked up three wheat pennies, a 55 nickel. Got the pocket knife. A little suspender clip. Third of a quarter. And we got an Indian head penny. So not bad for the hunt so far gonna take a little break get a little food we'll be back at it later tonight I'm gonna put the headlamp on see what we can get into I'll keep you guys posted keep swinging for the ring